Alrighty, what is happening, fellas? So for today's video, I was planning to go out and shoot like this super cinematic, cool looking video for you guys about the topic that I wanted to discuss today. But then I ran into parking garage issues and daylight issues and a whole skew of other stuff. So I thought I would just sit down and film this for you guys because the topic that I want to talk about, I believe, is very important. And that topic is why I believe style and fashion is important. You know, there's tons of people out there talking about what you should and shouldn't wear, do this, never do that. Hell, I've made videos talking about those kinds of things, and I'm sure I will make many more of those. All that information is important, but for a second, I want you to throw all that out. Or at least stuff it in a file drawer in the back of your head somewhere, because without this first point, none of the other stuff matters. Which is to be a good person. All the most fashionable, stylish clothes, accessories, whatever, that won't cover up an ugly personality. Now, I'm not saying that you should strive to be the Pope. Not at all. I'm far from perfect in any way. Perfection isn't what matters. It's about being kind, courteous, loving, and giving to others. Because no Gucci suit is going to hide a selfish jerk. That's just a fact. So now that we got that out of the way, the next and one of the biggest points, I feel, should be the most obvious. However, when I consider the way a lot of grown men dress, maybe it's not that obvious. But it should be. It is that wearing good, stylish clothes will make you feel like a million buckaroos. Now this is very subjective because the outfit that makes me feel good might not be the same as the outfit that makes you feel good. But the thing I really want to iterate is that wearing good clothing that you love can give you a confidence boost and make you feel on top of the freaking world. And when you feel more confident, it helps you be better in many different aspects, one of which is communication. Style and fashion are one of the best nonverbal communications in the world. Being well-dressed helps communicate who you are before you even say one word. So imagine two different guys go into a bank to ask for a loan for, say, a house. The first guy is wearing cargo shorts and a ratty old t-shirt, and the second guy is wearing a well-tailored suit. Now who do you think the banker has a better first impression of before speaking to either one? The guy in the suit, obviously. Now of course, this doesn't mean that just because someone is well-dressed that they are a better person than someone who isn't. That's jumping back to our first point about being a decent human being. But when you combine the visual of good style to your already good traits, the impressions are good all the way through. And the last point I want to make here just kind of ties everything else together. That having good style makes you a more well-rounded person. It makes you more diverse in more areas of life. Think of the most interesting man in the world. He is the interesting because he knows so many different things, one of which is how to nail his style. Good style doesn't make you who you are. Being fashionable and dressing well is one of many ways to uniquely express yourself. If you're at a point in life where you've got it figured out and got a lot going for you, but maybe you haven't dialed your style in just yet, let me assure you, it will be the icing on the cake. Or maybe you're like me and haven't got it all figured out, then learning style is a great way to start leading a better life. And that is where I'm going to leave this video. If you watched all of this, I want to truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please consider subscribing and give that like button a little stylish fist bump.